is called Hello, and it is hands-on early literacy for little ones. It's a pre-reading program for very young children. It teaches them a number of concepts and skills that they'll need. It teaches them sounds of the letters, the letter names, rhyming, and of course we pack in all kinds of interesting facts about science, and most of all, fun. going to be doing our alphabet chart today. We're only going to be going up to L, but we're going to be going through all the letters. What we're going to do first is we're going to say the name of the letter first, and then the next thing is we're going to do the sound, and then we give the animal. Ready? Let's go. A, 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 Ant. B, 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 Bear. C, K, K, Cat. D, 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 Dog. E, F, F, elephant. F, 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 fish. G, 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 gorilla. H, 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 horse. I, 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 iguana. J, 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 jellyfish. K, 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 kangaroo. L, O, O, lamb. Nice job, you guys did a great job, thank you. letter E has an interesting sound. You have to be very careful where you keep your mouth for the letter E. You're going to make kind of a, a smile, like this. You can't have it close together. You can't have it really tight. You have to have it sort of in between. Get your mouth into a smile, and then the sound comes from here. Eh, eh, eh. Watch what happens if you take your mouth and move it too close together. Eh, eh you get a really funny sound. If you pull it too tight, ah, ah, ah. So you have to keep that mouth at a smile like this, and then it comes from here. Eh, eh, eh. Let's say it together. Eh, eh, eh. Today's word of the day is elephant. Today's word is elephant. This is a long word. It's a big word. How many letters are in elephant? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight letters are in the word elephant. That's one of our biggest words we've had. Now let's go through and say the names of the letters. E, L, E, P, H, A, N, T. Now we're going to talk about the sounds, but we're going to do the sounds different for the word elephant. Because when you get big words, it's easier to chunk the words into little parts. And if we chunk elephant, look what we find in elephant. Remember when we did the word ant? We have the word ant right here at the end of elephant. Do you hear the ant there? That's ant. And in the middle, we have PH. Remember when we had aphid and the PH said f? The PH in elephant also goes f. Oftentimes when you have P and H together, they decide they're going to say f. They're not going to say p, p. No, they say f. So we're going to chunk it by having the PH together and the ant, and now we're going to slide together the first part of elephant, where we go eh, o, eh, eh, o, elephant. Elephant. It's a hard word when it's a long word, and it's easier to chunk it. So when you get long words, see if you can find a chunk in there that makes sense and use that word to help you say the word. That's all for elephant.
Today's letter of the day is E, and we are going to sign elephant. To sign elephant, put up your hand like this, fingers together, palm out. Put it at your nose, and then pretend like you have a trunk. Go bring it down, and then up. So let's do it together. Hand up, at your nose, down, and up. And if you want to, you can make the elephant sound. Good job. Hi, we're going to do a rhyme about elephants. Now, elephant is a hard word to rhyme. So instead, we're going to rhyme the word stomp. Because what do elephants do? They stomp around. So the first time, I want you guys to close your eyes and listen for that op sound in the word stomp. The second time we say the rhyme, open your eyes and follow along down below. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Ooh, I'm an elephant. I walk like an elephant. Stomp, stomp, stomp. I eat like an elephant. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I play like an elephant. Romp, romp, romp. Okay, go ahead, open your eyes, follow along down below. Here we go. Ooh, I'm an elephant. I walk like an elephant. Stomp, stomp, stomp. I eat like an elephant. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I play like an elephant. Romp, romp, romp. Oh, you guys did a great job. Hello. Today we're going to be doing elephants. And I have with me Ellie Elephant. And she's going to tell us a story about elephants and their different body parts. You spend most of your time eating. Oh, look at those elephants. What, you hate flies? You use your ears to keep the flies away. Look at those elephants flopping their ears to keep those flies away. It's a good use of your ears. We couldn't do that. We have to use our hand. You eat and drink water with your trunk. So you take your trunk down and you get your water. Then you put it into your mouth. You see how the elephant is curling his trunk to put the water into the mouth and curling its trunk to feed itself some grass. So you use your trunk sort of like we would use our hand. You have little flaps on your trunk so that you can actually grab things with your trunk. Look at those elephants taking small little things with their trunk, grabbing it and putting it into their mouth. Tusks. You don't have your tusks yet? I know, you're still a little baby like the one at the top. Look at the baby with the small tusks. But big elephants get long, long tusks and ears, very big ears. And it's true that there's different ears for elephants that come from India than elephants from Africa. African elephants have big ears. Indian elephants have smaller ears. You look like you're an African elephant because you have bigger ears. And big feet, stomp, stomp, stomp. Look at those feet. You could go anywhere, couldn't you, with those feet? And baths. You look at the elephant taking a bath. You get your wa water in your trunk, then spray it all over like your own shower. What a good way to take a bath. I wish I could take a bath with my trunk like that. What is that? You're still taking a bath? That's dirt. Oh, elephants take dirt baths too. They take dust. They grab it in their trunk and they throw it up just like they throw water. Why do you do that? That's your suntan lotion? You put dust on your body to protect you from the sun and, oh, and insects. That's true. Insects might not like a lot of dust on themselves. So those are two ways you take a bath. You use the mud as a suntan lotion and you use the dust to repel insects. Goodbye. The story that goes with elephants is called Opposites by Eric Carlyle, and it has an elephant in it as one of the characters, but it's a fun book for kids because it talks about things that are opposite, like big and little. And it's especially fun because you can fold the pages out and the kids can guess what it is and then you can fold the pages out and you can find out what the opposite is. It really helps kids to learn their opposites. One 
elephant went out to play upon a spider's web one day. He had such enormous fun. He called for another elephant to come. Elephants went out to play upon the spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun. They called for another elephant to come. Three elephants went out to play. Upon a spider's web one day, they had such enormous fun. They called for another elephant to come. Four elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun. They called for another elephant to come. Five elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun, but the spider web. And they all fell down. The spider web broke, and they all fell down. Our literacy tips for elephant is learning animal sounds. And at first, this may not seem like uh, something that might be important for a child to learn. But it really is, because so many children's books are going to have animals making animal sounds. And the more familiar they are with this, the easier the story will read for them. For example, I had a little boy I got through reading the story about the geese honking, and he was so confused by the end of it because he knew that cars honk, geese don't honk, and it was really a disconnect. So it does help for kids to know what animals say in the United States. And I say this because animals across the world all speak a different language. In Europe, by and large, dogs woof, they don't bark. And other countries have other animal sounds that they make. So these are the uh, sounds that you'd be teaching your kid would be from the United States. So elephants, trumpet, frogs croak. It's just fun to learn what animals say in our language. Our science tip is grabbing objects like an elephant. Remember the elephant's trunk has two little folds on it. And so what you're going to do is practice picking things up like an elephant. Except don't use the thumb because the folds operate more as an index finger and your middle finger. So you're going to ha have to try to pick up things using just these two fingers. Can you pick up things using these, these fingers like an elephant? And then you get down to teeny tiny tacks. Kids will have a lot of fun picking up things like an elephant. This is how we say goodbye, say goodbye, say